Welcome to Lesson 2. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to insert charts and modify them. A chart is a tool you can use to communicate your data graphically. This allows your audience to see the meaning behind the numbers. If we look at this sample slide, our numbers are represented in a table. And as you can see, it's very difficult to pick up a trend without looking at each number individually. The same data is represented in a column chart. And as you can see, it's easy to see the movement of numbers over time. Before we begin, let's orientate ourselves with the different parts of a graph. Down the left-hand side here, we have what we call your value axis, your vertical axis or otherwise it's called your y-axis. At the bottom we have your x-axis which is also called your horizontal axis and these represent the different categories in a chart. We can look at each individual column here and this represents a series or a category. And on the right hand side we have your legend. For example January is in blue it will show the the label for the um, for the series. Right, so let's begin by inserting a chart. I'm going to use the placeholder in this particular slide type. If you don't have this icon here and you have a blank slide, for example, you could also go to insert chart. Here we have the different available templates for different styles of charts. We have a column chart, a line chart, a pie chart and a bar chart. Those are the most commonly used ones. A column is good to show a change of volume over time and it's a relatively easy slide to read. We then have a line chart which is useful for showing upward and downward trends. A pie chart we normally use to show totals and are reflected as a percentage. A bar is the same as a column chart, it's just lying on its side. For this example we're going to use our column chart. What appears then is an Excel window. Excel, it, it, PowerPoint uses Excel as the placeholder to put in the necessary data. And you can see if I start putting in data over here, it automatically starts populating onto my chart. Over here for the series labels, I'm going to use months. I'd like to extend this to May. As you can see, there's a blue border that's surrounding the data on my chart. So I'm going to pull it two columns further and it already populates April and May. I'm going to leave the data in and just populate April and May with new numbers. Once you've finished completing your data, you merely need to close the Excel window. There's no need to save it. If for any reason you now need to edit that data, on the Design tab you have an Edit Data option. That will take you back into PowerPoint, into Excel, in order to edit it. The next thing we're going to learn about is how we modify charts. As you can see, we have various chart styles. And it's very easy to change the whole look of the chart just by a single click. I'm going to choose the 3D Colorful option over here. We also have various chart layouts. Some may not work for your particular chart, like in this example. Let's select that one over there. This is now putting my legend at the bottom. That one is clearer to read. The next thing we can do is change your chart type. Even after you've chosen your chart type, you can go and change it to something else. Let's change chart type over here to a line. And it will change back to a column. If we select the Layout tab, there are various options to put in titles, axis titles, legends, and data labels. Um, I'm going to remove this chart title because we have a title placeholder at the top. I could put an axis title. Here is my horizontal axis title. Let's title below axis. And I'm going to call this course. Let's put a Y axis title or a vertical axis title in. I'm going to use my rotated title. Number of attendees. The next thing I'd like to place my legend at the bottom. And as you can see, it's now moved to the bottom. I could put data labels on. I'm going to choose outside end. This will put the actual value above the series. I'm going to remove those for now. 
The last ribbon here is the format ribbon, and this allows you to change individual colors. For example, if I wanted this blue series yellow, first I need to select it and go to Shape Fill. If you don't find the color you're looking for here, you can click on More Fill Colors. I'm going to choose yellow. Charts are a great tool in PowerPoint, and I think the audience will appreciate the data visualized in such a clear way.